Okay, so Final Cut Pro 10.8 has now been released and with that comes a couple of AI features and enhancements that I'm going to talk through with you. There's a whole bunch of updates that have been made in 10.8, as you can see from this screenshot here, but I'm going to be diving into the ones that are kind of like the AI enhancements and they're going to be around the light and color effects and also the super smooth slow motion effect. So before we get into that, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Clean My Mac X. If you're a Mac user, then the one must have app that every Mac OS user needs to install is Clean My Mac X. It's a utility app that protects your Mac from malware and removes system junk with so much ease, all through one of the most user-friendly interfaces of any Mac OS app. Not only is it great at protecting my Mac and saving storage space, I also like the nice little features such as automatically prompting to empty your bin as soon as you delete large files, and also doing a deep uninstall of apps that you simply send to the bin through your applications folder. So if you're looking for the single best protection and junk removal app for Mac, then hit the link in the description to download this to your Mac. Okay, so let's start off with the enhanced light and color effect that's just been added. Now I've got a bunch of stock video footage right here in my project. If I go ahead and add, let's say this one, this one, and this one, got some training videos here. Now, if you see over this first video, it's pretty washed out. And if you wanted to color grade this, or if you have any of your own footage that you just want to enhance the color, make it look more high definition, make it look more vibrant, it's very easy to do that now. All you need to do is select the clip. Just underneath the preview, you have the magic wand button there. If you drop that down, you have this option called Enhance Light and Color. As soon as you select this, it will add the effect. And in the inspector panel on the right hand side, you can see the color adjustments one has been added. And just from the outset, you can see it's now so much clearer than the actual video footage that you had on the clip. So if we just undo that and you can see the difference, that's with the effect and this is without the effect. Now, if you do go into the effect on the inspector panel, you can actually drop this down and then you have the option to turn off either the light or the color itself. So if you hit the magic wand next to light, it will remove the light that was added, or you can do the same with color. And of course, you have all of the manual adjustments if you just want to tweak them and get it a little bit better than what they actually provide you. So this is a very great option to actually add all of your color grading enhancements to any of your clips. One of the other features that they've also added with 10.8 is you can now copy the entire effect from the inspector panel onto any other clip rather than doing the manual copy and paste of the effects. So to do that, I'm just going to add that same effect from this first clip and I'm going to drag down that entire effect onto the other clip. And you can see it's copied across all of the adjustments exactly like for like. Likewise, I can do the same here on my final clip and there you go. So you can just go ahead and make any adjustments, but just having the enhanced color and light option just there with this new update, I think that's just a really quick and easy option to make your footage look a little bit better. Okay, and second is the super smooth slow-mo. Now there was a couple of ways to actually slow down your footage before 10.8, and I'll show you just here what you were able to do in the past and what you can do now. So I've got a couple of clips just here added to the timeline and I'm going to slow them down a little bit more. So you can see this clip here, I'm just going to blade just a middle part of this and I'm going to slow the middle part down there. If you click on this icon just underneath the preview for the speed settings, you can see the slow option. This was there from before and if I just go ahead and show you 50% of how that used to look, so you can see it's a little bit choppy and it's not something that you want for high quality, super smooth, slow motion. Let me go ahead and undo that. And now let's compare it by doing smooth slow-mo, which is now the newest update added to 10.8. So I will select 50% of this. And now we just let it analyze a little bit. And once it's ready, you'll see it's so much smoother you don't get much lag or any choppiness when you're actually playing back the footage. And that's something that actually works very well. If I just give you one more example of this car just driving across the road. So this is the footage without any slow motion. And maybe I'll get it to slow down from around here all the way up to maybe there. And if we go ahead and do smooth slow-mo 50%, We'll just let it analyze and then let's go ahead and play that back. 
and you can see it was very clean, very quick and easy to do so. Now you can also adjust the smooth slow-mo. When you go into the speed settings here, when you go to video quality, the newest option is best, which is machine learning, but you can actually change this to be better with optical flow. If you do that, you can see it's analyzing for optical flow now. Once that's finished and ready, if you feel like that is actually a better option, then you have the ability to actually change that depending on the type of footage you have and the shots you've taken. But nonetheless, having a default, when you do use this smooth slow-mo option directly from here, that will automatically set the quality to best. So those are the two main updates from an AI point of view. I would say they're more kind of like AI enhancements rather than specifically, you know, groundbreaking AI updates. So hopefully you found that useful. If you are the person that does a lot of color grading or you like to take some nice cinematic slow motion shots, then this is going to make your editing a lot easier. It's not for everyone. Maybe you don't do any of those things but it's worth noting that these features are available, but more than anything, this is just the first step and I'm excited to see where they go with the AI enhancements in the future. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe. Any questions, drop them down below and I'll try to help you out as much as I can and I'll catch you all at the next one. Take care.